Hi guys, welcome to my channel and today in this video, I'm going to explain you greedy best first search in AI. So guys, this search, okay, it uses something called as heuristics, okay, and it is also one of the searches which we use in something called as informed search. So what it is, it is an informed search. By informed search, what I mean, in this search, we use some sort of information which will guide our search process. We use some sort of our information which will guide our search process. So we also call it as informed search. Okay, in, in, in informed search, there are many different algos and one of them is greedy best first search. So guys, what is informed search? In informed search, we use some sort of heuristic function. What is heuristics? It is nothing but a function using which we calculate some type of information then which we use in order to search the tree, which we use in order to search the tree. So that's why we call it as informed search and for informed search, we use some sort of heuristic functions which will guide us our search which will guide our search process. So guys, for the full video, all of you stay tuned. Karen Jetley live. Now guys, suppose this is my tree. This is my tree or this is my graph. Okay, so in this graph, this is S is my starting node and I want to go to G. I want to search G. Okay, so now what is heuristics? Heuristic is we use some sort of formula which will give us some values using which we will try to search the element in this case we are trying to search g okay now if you see these values 12 5 11 2 6 7 6 0 so these are the heuristic value so in greedy best search so what we do is we calculate our heuristic based upon the concept that from the starting node I have to find the node which is closest to the goal. I have to find the node which is closest to the goal and then I will go to that node and again I will try to find the node next node which is closest to the goal means here we are greedy so that we look for a node which can take us to the goal as early as possible. Okay, so here the, we use heuristic function which will estimate some values. These values will tell how much close the goal is. How much close the goal is. So here 12. So this value tells the goal is 12 units away. Okay, suppose this is 11. It tells the goal is 11 units away so here we use heuristic function using that we get these values okay so then we use the greedy approach in order to find our goal okay and in this greedy best first search we use something called as priority queues we use something called as priority queues and we use minimum priority we use min priority. What is min priority? Min priority says we will remove the element from the queue whose priority is minimum. Whose priority is minimum. And from where the priority will come for each element? It will come from the heuristic function. It will come from the heuristic function. For example, S. What is the priority of S? Is 12. C. What is the priority of C? Is 5. Okay. And in this, we maintain our data structure, which will keep the record of the nodes which we already visited. Okay. And the nodes which we plan to visit in the future. And the nodes which we plan to visit in the future. Okay. Now, guys, I hope you understand up to here. So in the greedy best search, we use the heuristics and heuristics will give us some estimated value from the present node to the goal. Okay. Other thing in greedy search, what do we use? We use minimum priority queue and we maintain a data structure in which we keep the track 
of nodes which are visited and the nodes which we are planning to visit next and nodes which we are planning to visit next. I hope you understand up to here. Now let us start it. Let us start it. So this is my starting point S12. This is my started point S12. Okay. Now I did not visit it. This is my first node. So this is the only node. I push it to the queue. So what comes in queue? S12. What comes in the queue? S12. Okay. So then how this algorithm works? They say remove the element from the queue based upon minimum priority. Okay. Then see if that element is goal or not. If that element is your goal, you stop there. If that element is not your goal, get the children of that elements and you insert them in the queue. Get the children of that elements and you insert them in the queue. Then again from the queue, remove the element which has the minimum priority. Now why we use minimum priority? Because greedy search says, we have to find the node which we feel is closest to the goal. Closest means it has a minimum distance to the goal. Okay. I hope you understand this. So initially my queue is emptied and no node I visited. So this is not my goal. This is not my goal. So I push it to the queue. So next step, what I do in queue only one element, I remove it from the queue. So I mark it as visited. And I see whether it is my goal or not. In this case, what is my goal? My goal is node G. My goal is node G. So S12 is not my goal. So then what I do? I expand S12. Now S12 has two children. That is B and C. So what do I do? I push them to the Q. I push them to the Q. So here what goes is C5 and B11. C5 and B11. Okay. Now I repeat my step. So I go to the queue. Now this queue is a priority queue and I am using the min priority. So I will select the element which has minimum priority. Okay. Then I will visit that element. Now I have C5 and B11. Okay, so which is minimum C5? So C5 I remove. So what is left in my queue is B11. So then again I check whether C5 is my goal, yes or no. In this case, C5 is not my goal. So then what I do? I expand C5. So what are the children of C5? F and H. So I push them into the queue. So what comes here is F7 and H6. F7 and H6. Now guys, here do not bother yourself in which sequence I am writing the elements. Okay. You have to keep in mind it is a minimum priority Q. Okay. So in which sequence I show them here, it does not matter. But what matters is in what sequence I am taking them out. Okay. Now C5 is already visited. This is visited. This is visited. Now C5 has two children which are already in the queue. That is B11, F7 and H6. Now again I use the min priority. Which element has the minimum priority? That is H6. So I remove H6. I go to H6. Now H6 is my visited node. Okay. Now what is in the queue? Q is B11, F7, now I see. Now H6, H6, is it my node which I am looking for? No, it is not the node I am looking for. Okay, so then what I do? I try to expand H6. I try to expand H6. Now H6 does not have any children. X6 does not have any children. Okay. So then what I go, I try to find the next element in my queue. Now, what is the next element? Next element is F7, min priority. So I go to F7. 
so i mark it as visited f7 okay now what is left in the queue is b11 now i see whether f7 is my goal no f7 is not my goal okay so then i expand f7 so then what happens is the when i expand it what is the next child of f7 g0 so what comes here is g0 i push it to the queue i push it to the queue then what happens okay again my algo runs out of these two which is the minimum priority g0 now g0 i mark as visited and i check whether it is my goal or not yes it is my goal so i stop here so what leave left in the queue is b11 so this is my path this is my path s c f i start from s then i go to c then i go to f then i go to g so this becomes my path okay so guys what is this this is greedy best first search okay here we use the minimum priority queues okay so we check whether the node is the element or not if that is not the goal we expand it we push them into the queue okay then we remove the element from the queue based upon the minimum priority until we reach our goal and guys very important thing even if we use heuristics so it will not a guarantee whether the path which you will get will be the shortest path okay but there is some sort of heuristics which we use using which our efficiency increases okay we don't have to visit each and every node okay but still it cannot guarantee the path will be always the shortest path so guys i hope you understand this so guys if you like my videos please subscribe to my channel and all of you thanks for watching and stay tuned